Hi friends, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm doing a little voiceover. I'm just really talking you guys through this process that I've just come up with when it comes to wrapping my original art pieces. I'm not the best at this, I will admit, but I learn each time and to be honest, I have yet to get a complaint about anybody's painting arriving damaged. If anything, they complain about how much bubble wrap and I guess how secure the art is and the mission it is to get it out, but I'd rather that than the painting be damaged along the journey. So as you can see, I start off with the bubble wrap. So I think I used around three sheets to cover this big piece. And I use the sticky tape just where the bubble wrap is. Keep in mind, I'm about to move this painting in a better view. I acknowledge that this isn't the best filming position, but you know your girl is also not the best filmer, editor, everything else are up. So this is as good as it gets for now, but I'm telling you, I'll move it to a new position soon. And here we are, the joys of editing. I've just cut that little snippet out where I'm out of frame. And now Aisha is back in frame. Thank goodness for that. So as you can see, I'm getting my masking tape and I am not sticking it on the painting. I am sticking it only on the bubble wrap, being super gentle when I touch the canvas because I also don't want marks and all sorts of things on this delicate piece of art that I spent hours and hours and hours on <laughs> and that somebody has recently purchased. So they should be getting the product just as it looks in the pictures. Anyway, I'm going to speed up this process because one, nobody needs to see just how tired my face is from my work day in my social work job, nor do they need to see just how long it takes me to wrap this one painting up. So let's speed it up, shall we? Now that I've finished the bubble wrap process, I pretty much use my average size recycled removalist box. I cut it open and pretty much make it fit to the size I need it to be. These average size removalist boxes are great because they're fairly uh, soft that you can mold them around the canvas as you can see me doing here. I sort of fold the cardboard a little bit Yet, they're strong enough and structured enough that they will sit around and protect the canvas as well. So yeah, just sizing it up. Now, I like to recycle boxes. I don't think there's any point in buying new boxes just so they can be, I guess, wasted. So I just feel like if this is a clean box that's only been used once, why can't I then mold it to be my packaging for a piece of art and these corners you'll see me using they were also recycled corners from when I've unpackaged furniture there's just so many things that can be recycled and used to to package up ah so here I am sticking the hard cardboard corners to the bubble wrap so that the corners of my painting are not damaged in any way or you know nothing Nothing can touch any part of this, this painting. If, it, if it's going to rub up on anything, it's going to be on the cardboard. And if I'm sticking it to the bubble wrap, when the person unwraps it, it will go with the bubble wrap. Yeah. So it really is a matter of just 
making it work and using recyclable goods that make perfectly good packaging for original art canvases. And here I am getting an excess piece of cardboard that I have from a previous box that I cut this from. And what I'm doing is molding a little, I guess, cover that will go for the top here. Because as you can see, the cardboard won't be able to wrap around the top of the painting, only the sides. So now I'm using my sticky tape to stick it to the box and make an additional little cover. And here I am making another little cover for the bottom end of the box. And as you can see, I've run out of tape. I think I ran out of tape three times. Just so happens I'd obviously had like a little bit left of three different types of tape. But you know what? They all do the trick. So I don't really care if they're silver, white, brown, whatever the bloody kind of tape it is. It's masking tape and it will do the job. And I'm due for more supplies now. Off to Bunnings, I guess, for me. As you can see, I am sticking the flaps in it. Oh my gosh, I can't say that, can I? Choose. So I was gonna take that out and then I thought, nah, that's pretty funny. I'm gonna keep bloopers in. So I'm sticking down these cardboard additions I've made, these covers, um, and it's sticking down onto the bubble wrap once again, so there is no tape that is touching the canvas. It is just on the bubble wrap, and this will keep the bottom and top of the painting protected. Okay, we're nearly there. Oh my gosh. So this part is the biggest wrestle for me, and every time I do this, I say that I'm going to you know, have a helping hand next time because this is really hard to do by myself. <laughs> I need someone to hold the box while I tape it, but if there's a will, there's a way, and I always manage to do this on my own anyway. So once again, this process takes me a long time, so I'm just going to speed it up for your entertainment. See you soon. Here we have it friends, I'm out of frame once again, surprise, surprise. <laughs> but here is the end result, uh, well actually sorry I'm still taping, Ooh, yeah, loves to over tape just for safety reasons, I pretty much cage the painting inside the box. But you know what, once again i rather it be super safe and hard to open than easy to open and arrive like it has been run over by a truck. So essentially this is the end of the clip. I didn't have any special intro or outro, I apologize. Give me some feedback to your mind. Is this okay? Because if it is, amazing. Here is your weekly video. You guys are the best. Thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting. Yeah, big love.